So there it is. And so there's a number of people who are on Pro Tools um, 2020 probably, or at least you're, you're on the Catalina OS, right? And the Catalina OS uses something else other than, than the uh, QuickTime file format. First, let me ask, um, has anybody downloaded the, um, the, uh, the video files for our post-production project? Has anybody done that yet? Um, I'll show you where that's at if you haven't done that. So I'll show you where that's at next, right? Did, did we get an okay on that? Yeah, Kayla? Yeah, you did. All right, Kayla found it right on. I'll show you where that's at um, in just a second. If you haven't done that, don't worry. Um, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna share a, a screen of, of a, this is short, this is short. So don't worry, this is not gonna go on forever uh, at all. Um, because the people who are on Catalina are going to be using a different file format. So I'm going to show you just kind of uh, the progression of file formats to, to, to where we are like right now. So we all are familiar with WAV files and AIFF files. It's a Mac standard. And these files don't support time code, right? But we can use them in our audio workstation. So we have for a number of years. Now, this weird screwy... Um, Sound Designer 2, this is the proprietary um, file format for Pro Tools, all right? And what they developed is, is a, a file format that supports time code and some other things. And so it was decided, well, nobody's using Sound Designer 2 except for the freaky people who are using Pro Tools. And, you know, Pro Tools doesn't have the whole market. So we got to fold these people into using time code. So they came up with Broadcast Wave, the B Wave. And it supports time code and some of these other things. And so we can use this in, in we're in fact using this right now in Pro Tools, right? So th this is where we are. For everybody up to 20, uh, I don't know, 2019, even some of the 2020 people who if you downloaded Pro Tools 2020, you're using some of this, right? Now, still, back in the day when we're using WAV files and AIFF files, if you wanted to import certain files like video files, like before Pro Tools really accepted QuickTime files, you had to, to transfer them into OMF, uh, Open Media Framework files. So you did, you took your video files, put it in an OMF file, and then the, the audio and, and video would come in as, as an OFF file, and you could import it into Pro Tools, and it looks like what you have, right? And AES did the same thing, the Audio Engineering Society. Maybe you've heard of AES-EBU. It's a wiring standard. The Audio Engineering Society um, does a lot of good work, okay? So they came up with their own fi uh, file format, too. Tascam did it, too, because Tascam was, was making uh, prosumer equipment. And then we get to this AAF file, and this was kind of a bridge file where we're trying to take the OMFs and, and make this more of something that can go for not only Avid, but also Microsoft um, uh, transfers into Microsoft. And then here's where we are. Here's where we are with our Catalina people. You are using MXF files. And so this is why the people who, like me, I'm on, um, I'm on the one before Catalina, it's blowing me away right now. But, I'm, but I use the standard broadcast wave and QuickTime files, but everybody else who's on Catalina has to use the MF, MXF files. And this is what's gonna happen going forward. So you guys are, uh, are ahead of the curve. You're doing it right now. And this was, um, this, these are the, the files that you're gonna be using and it has all this data in it, time code, and it's a good file for streaming, right? So this is why we're going to, to this file format. And going forward, we're gonna see more, more and more of these files. So that is a cool thing for, for you guys. So that's why people on Catalina are using, using that. Okay, so where are my files? Where are my files? My files are in our class on Canvas. So here's where our file's at, right? Here's our class. I'm gonna try to keep the homepage updated so that you know um, what's happening so you can go to the homepage and kind of get a quick look 
of what's happening, what's coming up. And remember our, your schedule's right here. So you can always refer to that sheet, but let's go to assignments. Let's go to assignments. And uh, don't forget, don't forget there's a quiz that opens up after class. Okay, so don't forget to take your quiz. And here's the labs, right? And so this is, um, this is the demo of what I did last week, the week before. So if you need to go over them, go and take a look, all right? Because I chopped them up and they're shorter, at least in the whole class, that's for sure. And then here's our assignment for the post-production, right? This is our assignment for the post-production. And for, so everybody in Mojave, everybody on Windows, everybody in Mojave, Yosemite, and all those crazy, you know, Mac OS formats, you want this, right? But everybody in Catalina, you want this file, right? And if I were to click on this and download it, here's where I might put it, but you might figure out, put it in a different place. So this is it. If you see this V, that means that's the video file, okay? There are also A files, and that means that they are the, associ they are the audio files associated with this. Now we don't have any audio associated with this, right? So I only had to, to, to convert the V file. So that was pretty cool, right? But if I was going to, to download this, I would probably go into, this is my drive, this is my class, and in my assignments, I have my post demo that I gave you last week, and I would probably put it here, right? So that then, and when I went to my session, then I could do that import, import video, and I only have to look here for it but you can put it wherever you want. You can go ahead and put it wherever you want as long as you remember where, where to put it, okay? So that's all you have to, have to remember for that. So, so can I get a thumbs up on that or, or do we have questions? Thumbs up, we're okay, all right, good. All right, so one last thing I, I wanna share with you here. I just wanna make sure that I'm at the right place. Oh, by the way, that little, PowerPoint, a little red PowerPoint that came out of this book. This is the book that I'm using for the 120 class. Um, Scott, who is using, uh, who is doing the 120 class, he does a different thing than me, but you go to the same place. So I don't know if, if, um, if you take Scott's class, if you're going to get that, but that's where the information came from for those two uh, red, uh, red dealios. Uh oh, uh oh, I, I forgot something. I got to go get it. Got to go get it. Oh, my, my pen ran away from me. So I got an acronym to show you. G -I 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 -I. Okay. Anybody know what this means? Anybody know what this means? It's not GIF. It's Google is your friend. Google is your friend, okay? And that's what I, why I'm saying that is that um, please, Sammy, if you're sitting in front of your, your system and you're trying to get something to work, you have a question, you know, we don't, I, I don't have a system like that, but we're pretending, right? And you're pretending you have a system like that. If you're sitting in front of your fancy board and, and I can see Aaron's got a fancy mic, you know, with a fancy pop screen and fancy, yeah, <laughs> fancy headphones, you know, you're sitting there and you can't get Pro Tools to work. Sammy me for sure. But you know, you might try this, right? You might try Googling it because sometimes when I don't know the answer to something, that's what I do, okay? So you can copy paste uh, a prompt. If you see a prompt come up in Pro Tools, copy it, paste it into the search bar in Google and it may come up. Now you know how Google is and the internet is and all that kind of crazy stuff. It may, may send you someplace where all they're concerned about is coding, right? But if it sends you to some place where some audio people are working, it might be a, a good, good thing to, to look at. Sometimes it'll send you to YouTube and somebody's got a video that's digestible that you can get and, and it'll, it'll cover what you're, you're doing. So try that too. Here's another place you can, can um, Google and that is this place here. It's the Avid Duck, the Avid Duck. And I'll show you it right now. If you put Avid Duck two words in your search bar, it'll take you to this place and it's a, a good place to go. Let me show it to you right now. 
This is the Avid Duck. This is the Avid Users Conference right here. And so if you Googled a prompt and the prompt, you clicked on the, and, and the search for that prompt ended up finding a, something that was, you had part of the Avid Duck took you here, you're in good shape. So Duck stands for Digit Design Users Conference. The people that, the, the company that owned Avid before Avid owned it, the company that originated Pro Tools, that was DigiDesign. And they had the Div, DigiDesign Users Conference. That's what this is. And when Avid bought DigiDesign, they turned it into this, but they kept the logo. So that's why the Duck. So if you ever see the Duck on the Avid's website and you want to get there, go, go there. Uh, but you can all, always go just avid duck and it'll take you there and you can see that there's a lot of things going on here right so you there's all sorts of qu questions you can get answered all sorts of threads that have happened i used to be pretty active in this way back when in the last century <laughs> that's how long ago it was right but um it's it's active now and and one of the fastest ways you can find something is search right here see and i clicked on the search thing and you can you can enter it in right there you can have it show the threads where your question comes up where your you know things you're searching for or you can have the posts themselves so sometimes somebody will start a thread and then somebody will say something in their post that has the information that you want so you can try either one of those. I know I've tried it before, and the algorithm, the search algorithm here isn't as refined as Google's search algorithm, all right? So you might try Googling it first, and if you can't find anything, if it doesn't take you to the duck, you might come here and try it, but I found that, that um, usually you can go here and, ch and check it out, but um, sometimes Googling it will, will get you there in a better shape. And sometimes you can find somebody's video that they've put up. So, so definitely get a hold of me if you have a problem. But try Googling as your friend and try the Avid Duck. Uh, and if you can't find your answer, then absolutely get to me. And, and if I don't have an answer, I'll talk, check with Scott and maybe put you in touch with him and, and see what's going on there. All right. So that's our um, that is is the deal right there so do we have 